Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video, back for a new mail unboxing. I've had a couple of titles in over the last couple of days. Uh, I've also had a CD. Now I don't normally buy CDs because I stream everything off Spotify using the A word. I'm not going to say it because I might set off everybody's A's. <laughs> yes, so um, let's see what I've had delivered then. Okay, so the first thing I had delivered a couple of days ago, now I was not familiar with this film, but I saw a trailer for it. It looked really funny and it's a film that really you shouldn't be laughing at. Uh, <laughs> it stars Riz, is it Riz Ahmed that was in Rogue One? He was the Imperial uh, pilot. It's a film called Four Lions uh, and I bought this off eBay. Very nice edition. Uh, I don't know what you call it. It's not exactly a book. It's just like a fold out digi pack. But uh, yeah, uh, the film looks really good. Uh, it's about a group of ISIS terrorists, Muslim terrorists that are actually really crap terrorists. They're terrible, you know, blowing each other up and, uh, and are just really bad at the whole terrorism thing. So yeah, it's not subject that normally you would be attracted to but I think they make it such a comical I, I would say that this is probably like the young ones for terrorists or something but uh, I'm looking forward to watching it I've heard good things about it um, I've heard that it's definitely not for today's snowflake society so that's good because that's not me and uh, I, do, I do love a bit of uh, a bit of anarchic anarchic terrorism I don't think that's a phrase. But anyway, I'm looking forward to watching it. Uh, next up, we have a CD. Yes, uh, this is a singer that I have listened to for many years and loved since 1994. Yes, this is the man that got me into country music. Before that, I was into, well, I still am into metal and heavy rock and all that. But my main genre of music is country new country music and this is the man that turned me onto the country and i have never looked back this is garth brooks and this is the new album called fun i've got every single garth brooks album there is going way back uh, i've even got like the lost session cd i've got a couple of box sets uh, i even have the chris gaines uh spoof musical series what they did um and this as i say this is the brand new cd so i'm looking forward to listening to this um i normally i would listen to my music through spotify but his music is not on spotify um I, maybe he doesn't like streaming but uh that's one excuse to buy a cd it's my first cd i've bought in many years so i'm gonna i can play that through my denim receiver through the speakers and just get lost just get lost in fun so that's our books uh we have a little packet here from amazon with four four k's in no three four k three four k's so first of all this is the new release that came out on monday this is 2012 or 2012 with uh john cusack and um I can't remember her name is it amanda pete i think i can't remember her name uh and this is all about basically the end of the world this is roland emmerich doing an end of the world movie i've always enjoyed this film as well as san andreas and movies like that i love these modern day disaster films and um uh, i've heard that the picture quality is not top notch though i've heard it's a little bit better than blu-ray but it's going to be an improvement anyway, but it does have a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. And apparently the Dolby Atmos soundtrack is demo material stuff. So I'm looking forward to putting that one on. It doesn't come with a slip cover. I don't know why, because it is a Sony release. And all previous Sony releases that I've bought have come with slip covers. So uh, I don't know maybe if they've just decided not to, to do slips for this. But uh, that is 2012. 
Uh, I don't think it matters too much because it looks really nice with a black case. So I'm very happy. And then two others, which I have here, which one is one of my all time favourite movies and, and is in my top 10 movies of all time. The other one, not so much, but being a completist, I had to buy it. So the first one is Independence Day. Again, while this is a 20th Century Fox, no slip cover. Um, I absolutely love this film. Saw this at the cinema a few times. Best experience you can have, but uh, I'm glad it's on 4K. It includes the theatrical and the extended cut. Uh, it's just such a corny alien invasion movie with some great dialogue. Um, Welcome to Earth, you know, that's what I call a close encounter. It's just so much great dialogue in this. I do have the Independence Day 20th anniversary uh, collection. I think it might be film media. Is it film media? One of the foreign uh, boutique companies that released it. It's a steel book, but it's 3D and that. And this is 4K, so I haven't had this in 4K. So I am glad I've got this. Both this one and that and the one the next one I picked up, they were about eight quid each. So that's pretty good. What well, sixteen pounds for two four Ks? The other one I picked up, of course, is Independence Day. Like I, as I like to call it, Regurgence. Um, when I heard they were doing an in Independence Day sequel, I couldn't believe I couldn't breathe for a couple of days because that is such a fantastic film has such great character moments writing is fantastic the music by david arnold everything and the special effects was incredible on that film like i say one of my favorite films of all time when i thought that you know some of these characters were coming back in a sequel uh, 20 set 20 years later it's got to be good isn't it it's got to be classic not so much uh, i still do enjoy it it is an okay film to watch you know especially for jeff goldblum and bill pullman and some of the other characters vivica a fox unfortunately doesn't get a, a huge meaty role like she did in the first film and it's a shame we've got no will smith i think if will smith had actually been in this maybe the film would have been a bit more successful uh, and maybe the writing would have been a bit better i believe the time that this was being filmed, he had the option of either doing this or Suicide Squad. So he was good in Suicide Squad, but uh, he is missed in, you know, in in an Independence Day sequel. I'm glad they brought back Brent Spiner. He was fantastic in the first film and shares some lots of comic moments in this. And the way they set this film up at the end, there's uh, an an Independence Day 3, but whether or not we'll ever get one, because they left it clear open for a sequel. But uh, maybe we'll never get one, maybe we'll get one in 20 years' time. But yes, that's my films then, so Independence Day Resurgence, Independence Day 2012, Four Lions, and a Garth Brooks CD. So very happy with that lot. I shall start jigging about with my uh, my 4K display so that I can you know fit them in alphabetically. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. And I shall see you all on the next video. Bye.